Jeffrey speaks like a nervous little boy. He speaks too quickly. He slurs his words. He barely breathes. He interrupts like a black pillar who has data to show you. Younger Hamza tried to improve his speaking skills. He'd spend time watching YouTube videos, but by the time he was next in a social situation, he'd completely forget what he had just learnt. Adonis. Adonis speaks with charisma. With conviction, Adonis makes his speeches. And everyone listens. The people tune in to every word that Adonis says. When you go to the top of the golden rose, that's when everyone gets accustomed to the ways of the warrior. Now what I just said was total gibberish, but you kept on listening because it's not what you say, it's how you say it. <clears throat> It's how you say it. Now there's just a few pretty straightforward things that you can do to speak with charisma. And I remember being back in college a few years ago, watching videos like this, getting all hyped up and motivated, getting into college, speaking to people and pretty much forgetting everything that I had just learned. So you're gonna learn how to speak with charisma right now, but if you actually wanna use this to improve yourself in real life, at the end of the video, I'm gonna give you a few extra tips for implementation. Now let's go for a walk whilst I'll tell you a story. <sighs> Those tiny ass legs, bro. <laughs> so I'm just crop my calves up. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you a story which kind of makes me seem, yeah, it does make me seem bad. It was a few years ago, I got into the car with a friend when I was in my student city. I'm sitting in the front of the car, like he's driving, I'm sitting in the passenger seat. And you know, we're just speaking, having fun and stuff. And he says, oh yeah, we're gonna go pick up his other friend too. And I don't know why, his other friend was automatically essentially like the lowest person amongst us he sat in the back i can really remember just almost like ignoring what the guy was saying like not even taking it like seriously or anything and there was one particular like pretty heartbreaking moment when i heard the guy in the back actually say like can't you guys hear me me and the the guy in the front me and my friend in the front didn't even respond to it so we made the guy just like feel invisible because he wasn't speaking with like charisma and that's what happens if you speak just like a normal person if you speak without emphasis you're right you want to be on YouTube? You want to say hello to YouTube? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Alright, we got my mate joining us today. Great mate. Thanks. <laughs> Hi everyone. I just uh, just met met this guy as I'm, <laughs> as I'm walking through the through the woods yeah. and uh, it's great. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Woods in a in a poor shape though, isn't it? Yeah. With all the all the ivy strangling the. It's coming down now. Strangling the trees. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Lots and lots of that about. Yeah. 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 Okay. So, what advice would you give to young men around the world? Um, be yourself. Be yourself. Yeah, yeah. Go with your feelings, with your go gut with feelings. Your feelings. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Be yourself and go with your feelings. Yeah, you hear that voice. Take that advice off. What's your name? I'm Paul. Paul Hamza. Nice to meet nice you, Hamza. Meet you. I appreciate you coming in for the video. <laughs> no, no worries. I carry on with my travels. <laughs> nice one. All right. Have a good day, Paul. Thank you very much. <laughs> Bye, Hamza. In a bit, man. <laughs> be yourself, boys. Speaking with charisma, coupled with good social skills. It gets you little experiences like that where you just end up meeting someone. And I've said many, many times that the best parts of life are literally just the relationships that you make. And I've said this a bunch of times, and I know a lot of people disagree with me because they think, no, 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 Hamza, uh, it, it's about making money. It, it, it's about <laughs> getting muscle and f***ing bitches. Like, the most important part of life is the relationships that you have. Speaking with charisma, is a skill that will actually enable you to get those type of relationships. How was that for my little social skills demonstration for the day, boys? <laughs> so step zero, increase your value. This is the long-term solution to speak with more charisma and to get people to listen to you. People will listen to you when you seem more valuable. Now what's value? Value is just what you bring to the table in a social situation. So it's your physical attractiveness. It's your confidence, your humor, your flirtiness. It's whether you bring attractive girls with you. It's whether you've got money or status. If you're doing self-improvement the right way, my way, then your value in all areas of life will go up. Now step one is body language. There's real science and, and data. I'm not gonna cite the studies, bro, relax. There's real science that shows your physiology, your body affects your mind, your psychology. So with an open, confident body language, you've always been told the same piece of advice, but I'm gonna give you something different, a nice, easy way to just get into the right body language is to just open up the front of your body. Open it up, open up your legs, big dick it, man spread it. Have the body language that the blue head people on Twitter would take a picture of you and get angry at. Open up, like literally spread your balls out, spread your arms out, take up space and sit up a little bit straighter, chin up a little bit. Just open up and feel confident. Now step two is to smile. And you've heard this advice again before and the advice is kind of trash because you know it yourself. Faking a smile is awkward as hell. And then the extra trash advice that people say is, okay, don't fake the smile, but uh, smile with your eyes. Like, 
How do you do that, bro? All of that is too weird. So you want to know how to smile properly? Stop trying to smile physically. Smile mentally. Think about something that makes you smile. Think about something that makes you happy and you'll automatically smile and it'll be an authentic, genuine, attractive smile. Very simply, just visualize yourself happy or visualize yourself smiling. There we go. Beautiful smile. For step three, we have three speaking skills and you can take your pick with which ones you can kind of remember in the moments and which ones kind of go with your personality. The first is to simply talk louder. The amount of people that I speak to that have such a quiet, like frail voice is insane. And these are like young, strong men who should be speaking like I am. I've always had the benefit of being like confident enough to be able to speak somewhat loudly. Like I think that's a good thing and, and people respect that. But the amount of guys who are my age and who speak like this and they, and they do this shit and they, they cover up their mouth. No one wants to listen to you. Why do guys speak quietly? A simple answer is a lack of confidence. And I can imagine, I'm like visualizing a, a shy, nervous guy speaking quietly, doing, you know, covering up this mouth. It's because he only wants his, his voice to be broadcasted just to, just about to the person that he's talking to. He doesn't want his voice broadcasted to the other people around. So potentially a mindset that maybe you can remember when you're in the middle of a social setting and you find yourself being prone to speaking quietly. Imagine that you actually want your voice to resonate to more than just the person that you are currently speaking to. The second part of improving your speaking skills, which is one I really like, which I'm currently doing, is to take more pauses and to only breathe through your nose. You wanna breathe only in and out of your nose and straight, really, really visualize the breath coming into your belly. When you're speaking faster and you're speaking in a less charismatic, faster, shy, beta way, you'll find yourself speaking from your mouth because it allows you to speak without as many gaps. Now, in a moment like this, I can take those gaps comfortably because no one can interrupt unless Sam just butts in. <laughs> Out in the real world, especially if you're a younger man and you're a weaker man, you'll have somewhat of the unconscious fear that someone will interrupt you. And so you'll speak faster and you'll have less pauses in between your sentences. That seems productive, but it's actually counterintuitive because then it's a lose-lose. And the third part of leveling up your social skills is to do down talk, as my friend Levi used to say in university. So when we end a sentence, like I just did there, when we end a sentence, we often end a sentence with a higher pitch. Pitch. We don't wanna do that anymore. People around you will believe that you're more powerful when your sentence ends in more of a down, deeper pitch. Hey, how are you? Hey, how are you? So me and this guy would be going out to clubs and we had a, what would you call it? Like a secret message or something? We would see each other speaking to girls and we'd always remind each other, we'd like see each other, get each other's attention and go, <clears throat> and the moment that we'd do that, both of us would activate our deep voices. You know, we were a little bit mindless. We were just kind of in the flow of speaking to people. And the moment we'd hear each other go <clears throat> and look at each other, <laughs> we're speaking to a girl and we're like, oh, yeah, so uh, which, which you need you go to? I, I just live. And you hear, <clears throat> I just live in this one over there. Now see, you have the exact tactics to speak more charismatically, but you won't because that's just how YouTube works. You feel awesome and productive watching my videos and you're still a spurg. Let's be honest, you're still a spurg because it's hard to take action when you've just learned something like this. Like you felt so motivated and so hyped that I'm teaching you this knowledge and you couldn't wait for charismatic knowledge. And you're gonna speak exactly how you normally do unless you follow these upcoming steps. There's three things you can do to use this charismatic knowledge and wisdom in real life. And the first and most important one is visualizations. Visualize the exact exact situation in which you're going to use these skills, the exact people that you're going to see, the exact environment that you're going to be around. It's like you're mentally practicing before you're actually there. The next two things you can do are affirmations and reminders. Here's what my timetable page looks like right now. The steps that you learned from this video, the steps that really resonated with you, maybe it was the deep talking or it was to talk louder. Write that down on your phone somewhere, somewhere that you can see all the time. I wrote it on my daily timetable because it's this page, this notes app that had been so powerful in my my self improvement. It is this page that I look at anytime. Like when I'm having a, shit, I'm looking at this page. Click here to watch my guide on making friends. Do the hard work, especially when you don't feel like it. 